What's up, beautiful people? Another day, another study. We've talked about black seed oil before. It's something that I actually take every day. I take it for back pain and also for allergies, and we have randomized control trials supporting use for pain, inflammation, and allergies. However, I didn't know that there were randomized control trials for black seed oil and sleep. We know poor sleep is linked to a whole host of issues, obesity, type 2 diabetes, depression, poor cognitive health, and non-restorative sleep is a sleep disorder defined as when you wake up, you just don't feel refreshed, you don't feel like sleep was restorative. And this study used 200 milligrams of a 5% thymoquinone. Thymoquinone is what we think is the main biologically active agent in black seed oil. So 200 milligrams with 5% uh, standardized thymoquinone. And this was a study using both questionnaires and actigraphy. So basically something worn on the wrist to measure sleep parameters. And they had a seven-day lead-in period to get baseline assessment. And then the study period was seven days where they actually gave the drug versus placebo. And at the end of the study, the black seed oil improved sleep efficiency, improved total sleep time, decreased sleep onset latency, decrease wake up after sleep onset. It also improved a specific questionnaire called the RSQW questionnaire, which means that it improved sleep quality and quality of life. So these people felt better. They felt like they had more restorative sleep. And the only adverse effect in the black seed oil group was two people denoted like an aftertaste. Exact mechanism for how this works is unknown. We know that black seed oil is a dual orexin antagonist. There are actually multiple medications that work like this. Suvorexin is one of them. There are certain terpenes and terpenoids in there that possess sleep-promoting effects. And then there's also some evidence that black seed oil has some effects on serotonin and GABA, and this can be associated with calm and relaxation. We need longer trials and, of course, larger duration trials, but given the adverse effect profile, black seed oil is not very expensive the version I take, I would use Gaia Herbs. I think this is something that we can recommend for sleep. Have you tried it for sleep? I personally haven't. I take it during the day, but I'm going to start taking it at night, see if I notice any difference in my sleep.